Okay, I've got some uh, seasoned reed here. And I still have some of the leaves on it. It's got some stems. All you do is, uh, they come off, just kind of cut them off. Now the, uh, the seasoned reed is a lot harder than the dead standing reed. So the processing is a little bit different. It's a little bit more difficult. But if you have these little buds and branches, you can still use the reed. Just uh, cut those off. And uh, it doesn't really matter if the reed has a lot of nodes or if it just has a few. You can use both types. This one has quite a few nodes in it. This one doesn't have nearly as many. Uh, I find in a lot of cases though, the, uh, the reed with a lot of nodes has very gentle curves that are easy to straighten. The, uh, the reed that has few nodes is uh, more difficult to straighten. This one looks okay, but sometimes you'll get a node that's pretty bent and it doesn't happen with the uh, with the upper part of the reed where there's a lot of nodes anyway I'm gonna process this real quick what's the matter buddy go back in This, uh, these reeds come from two different sources, and uh, there are some differences. Uh, two different stands around where I live. Um, some of the reed you'll see has some kind of staining on it, and that's just natural. I don't know why it has that. Some will be fairly clean. This one's real clean here. Uh, and it's still a little bit green. I mean the color is green. They're, they're dry, but the color is green is still there. If you leave it in the sun, it'll turn a, a nice golden yellow. Uh, it's still a little green because the, the, uh, the leaves were still on here. But I shaved the nodes. tougher than the uh, dead standing reed. It takes a little longer. But it's pretty straightforward. I scrape it when I'm finished roughing it out. I've got my little piece of sandstone. Just smoothing it down. Find a good spot on on the stone that's rough. This has been buffed down quite a bit. So what I'll do is I'll finish processing this and then I'll straighten over the fire in the next video.